Hi, good afternoon everyone. This is Tyree from STM Environmental. I'm sure many of you have uh, dealt with me before um, by the software support, but today I'm going to be hosting a webinar and this is actually an offline recording um, just because we had some uh, issues with the internet when we were doing the live webinar. Um, so we thought we'd do an offline recording, upload it to YouTube, just so that you guys can browse in your spare time whether you know it was lagging a bit for you or whether you just missed the webinar uh, and want to catch up. So without further ado, let's get into what the webinar is about. And today it's going to be on what's new in GeoEnviron 8.1. And GeoEnviron 8.1 is a really nifty bit of software. It's a new update, came out about three weeks ago and it's a new bit of software um, that enables you to do a lot more with your data than you previously were able to do. So this webinar is going to be about getting the best out of GeoEnviron 8.1 um, it's going to be it's going to be tailored to all the new uh, all the new features, uh, and we're just going to do a brief run through. We're not going to go into too much detail because obviously we're we're going to be producing. Um, well, sorry, we've already produced. We're going to be sending out a link to the what's new, um, which is a more detailed explanation of all the features you see here. Today is just really a showcase about what GeoEnviron 8.1 can do for you. So, without further ado. Let's talk about GeoEnviron. So it's the complete data management system. It's got a GIS link component and it's a system that you can have all of your assets, you know, linked quickly to uh, the data um, and you can have it linked to GIS um, and it's basically it's to build up a bigger picture of the site in general so you might have whereas previously we you know we've had people come to us who've just been on Excel spreadsheets uh, and obviously there's a limit to what you can do with that um, with GeoEnviron you can have both well all the data in one place easily accessible easily readable as well as media files you know whether you've been doing inspections on a site or something you know you can have um, the media files from that attached as well as that it's a quick link between the GIS so basically we're bringing those three branches in together to try and make it as easy as possible for you to manage your data so as I say it's it's for environmental professionals by environmental professionals you know we use this ourselves in our own private consultancy so we know it works Oops, sorry, just double click there. Um, about us, we're STM Environmental. I'm sure many of you already know us. Um, you know, you've um, obviously, many of you are already users of GeoEnviron 8. Um, some of you still <laughs> lagging behind on 7. So we're trying to get everyone to update to 8.1. Um, you know, uh, we are environmental consultants. We provide tailored solutions to environmental problems. Um, we're based in Twickenham. Uh, we've actually just moved into new offices and uh, honestly, it's absolutely lovely. We've got loads of new gadgets and loads of awesome stuff to get cracking with. Um, uh, and in terms of uh, where the company started it, it's it's been running 14 years. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know the director, Simon McConey. Um, uh, yeah, he, he ran uh, Geo and Byron. Uh, he took GeoEnviron, sorry, from Denmark to, to England um, and now we're starting to see some real um, usage um, among the majority of uh, local authorities in the UK um, and as I say we've branched out into our own private consultancy uh, as of last year um, uh, just because we, we found the software to be so useful and you know it was really it was such a such a realization that there's um, a lot of potential with the software when it's utilized to its full extent. About myself, um, my name's Tyree as I mentioned before. Um, a lot of you would have probably met me uh, before either via the phone or email. Um, you know I do a lot of the software support uh, here at STM Environmental. Um, I'm actually from an environmental management background. Um, I graduated from the University of Manchester um, and I joined STM in early 2017, so we're talking January time, uh, which is when you might have heard me uh, over the phone or via email. And as you can see there, I've included a lovely mugshot of myself in Sri Lanka, uh, which is actually, I'm half Sri Lankan, so it was nice to go back there in February. Uh, and there you can see me among the tea fields. 
Okay, moving on. Um, why upgrade? Well, basically, we <laughs> we're getting everyone to upgrade because it just makes everyone's life so much easier. Not only are there some great new features, but there's also training videos, and it solves some of the old issues. So we delve into that a bit further. The great new features that are coming up, you know, they will streamline your data management and they will make your life a lot easier. Um, so we really recommend that you upgrade and get on board. Um, and for prospective clients, this new version of Jira and Ryan is the best so far. There is lots and lots of new features uh, available um, and we're going to be running through a few of them today and obviously some in our webinar on the Tuesday the 24th of July at 11am um, which we'll put a registration link in the description of this video. In terms of software support, um, not only does this version solve some of the issues that uh, people may have had, um, you know, with the old Jira environment fixing bugs and things like that, you know, that naturally occur with software, um, but also we've got training videos. Um, I personally put together a What's New, um, which has videos and document uh, descriptions on how to sort of utilize this software to the best of your ability um, and basically get all the great capabilities of Jira and Varen and utilize them um, and we're going to be sending that link out um, probably after the next webinar uh, which covers the second half of um, what's new in Jira and Varen uh, just because we want people to sort of you know see see them and use themselves and then go go and uh, try and you know um, utilize them The next webinar, um, as I mentioned before, is on Tuesday the 24th at 11 a.m. Um, I'll put a registration link in the description alongside um, the um, the uh, what's new, um, just because uh, we want to get people, you know, to to start a dialogue. You know, uh, we had some great great questions and stuff in the webinar earlier, um, and we want people to sort of enjoy um, learning more about how to use Jira and Byron. So some of the new features, <laughs> I know we we spent 10 minutes uh, not covering it, but here we go, some of the new features, the drag and drop feature, okay, this is a really cool bit of, uh, bit of um, a new feature, uh, and you've seen it across other platforms, but here we've utilized it so that drag and drop, you can now drag and drop documents into the document links, as well as media files into inspections, things like that. Um, and it will autofill, Jira Environment will autofill some of the information. So we'll get onto that a bit later and go into more depth, but it's a really innovative um, little bit of uh, features uh, that will enable you to streamline your data management. Also, we got upload multiple photos simultaneously. Um, so this is a combined feature with the photo auto retrieve and what we really aim for in this version of Jira Environ was to move things forward in terms of media inspections, uh, media um, and to try and get everyone um, to, because we know that when you go out on site and you do inspections that you do have photos, you know, evidence from site that you need to link to the site in Jira Environ and we've tried to make that as easy as possible. Following on from that, in terms of data management itself, we've got a Create Site Folder button, which is a nifty little button um, which will enable you to create a site folder with just the click of a button um, and where you can store all the information that you need for a site um, and you can specify where you want it to save um, and you can specify what you want saved in there. And it's a really, it's a really cool bit of uh, kit um, that we hope will enable you uh, to manage your data more effectively. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's get Jira and Varen open, as I'm sure many of you do every morning, um, and we'll see some of the new features in action. Okay, guys. Um, so the first feature we're going to be showing is that big one. It's the drag and drop. Uh, and believe me, it's not the biggest one uh, in terms of features that we've got, uh, but it's going to be uh, a really important one for you guys um, as you use Jira Environ 8.1. So here we've navigated in Jira Environ to a um, to a site, and you can see here. Um, sorry, actually, we're just navigate again um, 
to another site uh, find and retrieve as I'm sure you all do um, and here we brought up a site uh, and you can see here there's a document path um, that we want to update with something so what I've done is I've created a drag and drop test document here um, so as I'm sure you can see on my screen I just drag it over and drop it in um, let's try that again oh actually sorry I've realized I've, I'm in the wrong module uh, one second so if we navigate to example environmental permits we'll do a find and retrieve and here's in play pizza fashion here's one that we did in the webinar earlier um, apologies for that little delay there but um, here is one that we did earlier in the webinar so we're just going to go ahead and delete that and as you can see the documents called drag and drop test um, you might want a full screen actually for this uh, for this section just so you can read some of the smaller text um, we're working off quite a big monitor here as uh, one of the new features of the office um, that I mentioned earlier is we got some really cool monitors um, but here we go drag and drop and as you can see it auto fills the date and the document description so all you have to do is then add in a document ID um, to enable you to save that and just think of the capabilities here say for example you know you've got thousands and thousands of sites which we know that a lot of local authorities do and imagine you had to input that data manually each time and you're having to say what the description is when it was done with this you can just drag and drop and get it done in seconds um, and we think you'll really notice the difference over a long term period when you're looking at the data management so another another feature that we'd like to talk to you today about is it's a small feature we'll give you that but it's 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 a nifty one um, it's this in uh, in all reports we now have the site uh, the site information um, to all inspection reports so for example here if, if you miss what I just did there I just brought up an inspection report so number of inspections in a year uh, we've got a test site here um, so as you can see there is a an inspection planned in February um, and one planned in August um, so what we're doing here is we're having a look at this we have now the site information readily available and not only that we've got a go to site button so we know with some people they print out the reports and that's fine um, you know now you have the site information for that so it will make more sense when you're printing these out but not only that you can when you're having a look at the report in Jira and Byron you can go to the site and bring it up with that small click of the button and it brings up all the information you could ever want so that's what we aim for and we aim to bring you seamless data management here at STM. The next feature we're going to have a look at, uh, so we navigate to environmental permits, have a look at inspections, inspections report, we'll just do a quick find and retrieve to find a site. Uh, we'll just find and retrieve again, see if we can find a site that's filled out it doesn't look like we got one readily available so we will just um, well I'll talk to you about the features um, available so here we got the document links and the media files so what we thought we'd do is we'd add media files to inspections because we know a lot of you go out on site and you take photos of sites then you store them in a separate folder away from Geo Environ and we thought that doesn't really make sense because then you're always navigating in between programs to try and find the media files so what we thought we'd do is combined with the drag and drop you can now drag and drop items like photos all sorts into this uh, field and, there f and then um, you know click update and save and then it will auto retrieve when you bring up the site um, 
which is another new feature we're going to be talking about later on uh, next week actually uh, in, the, in the webinar on the 24th um, so that's a really nifty feature you know we know that people go out on site and they take photos and it's just a, a way of making everything as coordinated and as seamless as possible and we think this is going to be a nifty new feature for people um, to get their hands stuck into um, sticking with the theme of inspections but this time we're going to have a look at some flood risk stuff so we bring up flood assets we go to inspections and then inspection comments you'll notice here we now have custom fields because we know that you know at STM we know that with um, Geo and Ryan we do have a hell of a lot of you know opportunity to input data but there are some bits that you know we can't account for you know there might be a, a comment that you'd like you'd like to um, add or, or something like that to an inspection um, and this gives you the opportunity to add custom fields to your inspections uh, which will enable you to sort of manage your data more effectively and basically you know bring a bigger picture of the site and bring everything together under one roof uh, of GeoEnviron. Another cool feature we've got is the photo upload feature so for example um, we'll bring up this photo uh, I've actually got a blank photo attached to this site um, so if you missed that I just clicked on the photo button up here uh, to bring up the photos uh, associated to the site and then we'll navigate to pictures quickly and we've got some test ones here so if we just utilizing that drag and drop just drag and drop them in and there you go instantly upload multiple photos to a site so if you you're coming back from an inspection or whatever and you know you've got hundreds of photos well maybe not hundreds but you know what I mean you might have lots and lots of photos that you want to associate to a site and manage your data more effectively with this feature you can just quickly drag and drop them in and then you know they're there they're linked to the record and not only that with the photo auto retrieve setting that we're going to be talking about next week you can instantly view them when you view a site so the next feature we're going to be talking to you about is uh, is the site folder which is this little button right here um, so this site folder is essentially uh, it's a, a small idea but it has a, a lot of repercussions and the idea was to have a place where you can manage all your data um, so what this does is if we click on it site folder created in documents so basically that creates a folder where you can manage all your data in one place under one roof with Jira and Varen. Um, and it will name it automatically all you have to do is specify where you want it to save in the settings and it will create a folder with the name of the site and last but not least we're gonna <laughs> do something for the contaminated land users uh, so we'll, in, we'll go to investigation part 2a uh, obviously I, mu I must point out as well for um, for people who are saying that there are more modules available uh, than you have on your own computers obviously we have all the modules available uh, and should you wish to upgrade uh, your plan um, then please do contact us on the normal uh, normal methods um, so here we're just going to do a quick find and retrieve and here you can see uh, there's no there's no actual score for this but that here you have your human health um, your human health receptor scores uh, available on GeoEnviron from the site page so before you would have had as contaminated land users you would have had to navigate all the way to the human health receptor scores uh, but now we've got them straight away on the site tab so that you can instantly see uh, the human health okay guys um, bear with me one sec I'm just going to navigate back to uh, um, 
the second half of the presentation so um, obviously if you've got any questions or any comments uh, please do put them in the comment section below um, we're just gonna have um, you know we're gonna be checking that regularly um, and in addition we're gonna have uh, links to uh, all the features mentioned uh, in the what's new uh, and as well as that we're going to have a link to the next webinar which is going to be on the uh, 24th of July uh, at 11 a.m. so same time as this one um, so hopefully some of you can attend if you managed uh, if you managed to attend today or if you missed it today and you know you've seen this one you can attend again um, so bear with us uh, our internet speeds as I say are a bit slow today um, this is one of the reasons we're uploading this video of the webinar um, just to uh, catch you guys up on because we know there was some lagging um, in terms of the video but it looks like it's loaded now so we'll go into a quick recap of what we saw today and how it can be used and hopefully it will inspire you to go out and talk to your IT and get them to download the new version because it really is a cool bit of kit and we hope that you enjoy it so let's recap Jira and Varian 8.1. What features did we learn? Well, we learned how to get the best from Jira and Varian. Um, you know, with stuff like, it's, it's the conjunction of features, um, you know, combining stuff like the photo auto retrieve with the media to, uh, to inspections. These sorts of things enable you to bring, bring up a bigger picture of what's happening at a site and combined with the GIS link so you can instantly go from looking at the raw data to looking at it on a map. It really brings out the best in Geo Environ and we hope that you'll enjoy using it as much as we do. So drag and drop, it's an intuitive feature. Um, you've seen it across other platforms, but here it enables you to save time and effort whilst enabling better data management. And really, it's, it's that thing is that you're saving so much time on data inputting by dragging and dropping that, you know, over the long run, which a lot of people do, you know, have thousands of sites. You know, if you're, if you're inputting all that data manually, it's going to take a long time. But with drag and drop, we hope to minimize that and make it as you know seamless data management um, you know make it as, as good as possible for you so site IDs on inspection reports uh, it's a little tweak but it's, it's something that um, you know we think it's going to make a big difference the ability to navigate between the site and the site ID uh, the site in, on inspection reports uh, as well as that uh, having that actual data there as well will help if you print out the reports just uh, for your own benefit to sort of uh, to see where uh, which site relates to what um, I think will help a lot um, with those who print out which we know uh, quite a few users do with the reports using the print feature Oops, sorry just press the wrong button there um, media files under inspections so you can quickly associate media to inspections and combined with the photo auto retrieve it really produces that seamless data management i know i've said it before i'm going to say it again because it is really important that you understand that geo environment produces seamless data management and in conjunction with other features you know it can really build up a bigger picture of what's going on at a site custom fields under inspections you can easily add custom data to the inspections um, we've had some interest in this before um, and you know we've gone ahead and we've added it um, and we've already had users come to us and say you know how do we use this so you know really get to grips with that what's new um, have a look in there um, and you can add custom data to your inspections and it will help you stay on top of your data and it will help you manage you know peculiar data that we haven't necessarily uh, got fields for but you can still input to geo environment so everything's under one roof everything's in the same place because you know i said it during the live webinar there's no such thing as too much data just poor data management uh, and that's what we aim to rectify at geo environment so the ability to upload fo multiple photos simultaneously <laughs> there you go again it's seamless data management but this time seamless media management but we we get it you know um 
you've got a lot of photos associated at, to sites but you, it takes time to upload them in the old version so what we've done is we've made that as simple as possible with the drag and drop feature and uploading multiple photos at once you can now you know build up a bigger picture of the site and really get to grips with the data the site folder is a small tool but you know small but mighty and it will look, and it will be uh, enable you to manage all your associated data in one place and it's that thing is that with a click of a button you can instantly create a site folder and basically get to grips with um, you know all the information that's out there and put it all in one place because we know with some users that all the information is stored in different places and we want to rectify that we want to help you to bring all that data together because that's where it can be best utilized and finally the human health receptors it's an instant thing that now you can see on sorry on your um on your uh, contaminated land investigations um you can see the human health scores uh, and factor that in straight away okay guys that's going to be it for the webinar today um i've been tyree and it's been stm environmental uh, the next webinar is next week on tuesday at 11 a.m uh, so that's Tuesday the 24th of July. If you have any comments, please do put them in the comment section below uh, and we will endeavour to get back to you. Um, and we hope you enjoyed the webinar. It's going to be the first of a series of webinars um, that we host uh, and we hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, obviously, if you want to get in touch by the usual methods, info at stmenvironmental.co.uk or if you want my personal email, it's tyree at stmenvironmental.co.uk uh, or the office line is 0845-303-9434. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it and hope to see you next week. Bye.